Hey gang, AV here. Welcome to my review of the G.I. Joe Dollar General exclusive Cobra Trooper infantry figure. Um, as you can see, I've got two versions here. I've got the Wave 1, which was uh, black and gray, and the Wave 2, which is traditional uh, royal blue with yellow um, and red. You actually, you may recognize him from the... Uh, the uh, size comparison segment at the end of my videos, uh, the same exact figure. Um, but today we're going to be focusing on the Wave 1 version. I just wanted to show the difference between Wave 1 and Wave 2. Um, the packaging is exactly the same as is the back of the cards as well, where you see um, all six figures that were available at Dollar General at the time. Um, the Wave 1 colors are on both packages, as you can see. The Wave 2 were all repaints of the same six figures. But with that being said, we're here to have a look at the Wave 1 version. So we're going to open him up and see how cool he is. There's his figure base. Here's the card. And there we go. First and foremost, we're going to have a look at his figure base. Two foot pegs, Cobra symbol right there. It does not say Cobra Trooper on the front. 2007 Hasbro. Still, even though the figure's name isn't printed on there, I'm still glad they gave us that. I'm never going to complain about figure stands. Very happy to have them. Figure also comes with his assault rifle here. Nicely detailed. He has a removable helmet, which is actually on the figure quite well. It's got some silver painted detail there on the front. Not sure how well it's come across because of the glare. How's that? Figure himself. He's got brown hair. In case you were curious. <laughs> Cobra symbol there on his chest in silver. Very nice. Some gray highlights on his belt buckle as well as his knee pads. He has a pistol holster and a knife holster here but unfortunately does not come with either. Cool looking figure though. Um, head is on a ball joint, can do a full 360 degree rotation. Can look straight ahead and down. No real tilt from side to side. Arms can do a full 360. They go up about that high. Nothing at the bicep. Elbows can flatten out. And they can also bend almost 90 degrees. Rotation here at the wrist with the coveted wrist hinge. Very nice. Don't forget this was a Dollar General figure too. A liquidation store. With this level of articulation during... Uh, <laughs> um, oh man. Retaliation. Man, I keep blanking on that. I apologize. Maybe it's the fact that for the last couple of months, that's all I've been reviewing for G.I. Joe was retaliation. Now I can't even say the word. So anyway, he's got his uh, torso articulation there. Good range of motion, not hindered by his vest at all. These double jointed go all the way back, as you can see. You can also do the splits. Kick his leg up about that high, back about that far. Showed you the knees already. Ankles, full 360 degree rotation right there. Point his toes just about all the way down and forward slightly. So awesome articulation on this guy. I like the paint, uh, the, the black and the silver with gray highlights. I really like this. Great looking figure. Um, 
this again was the Wave 1 version of the Cobra Trooper from the Dollar General line. Really cool looking in black. Let's do some size comparison now. Here he is next to a vintage G.I. Joe figure, Snake Eyes. As you can see, he is noticeably taller. Vintage collection Luke Skywalker, again, noticeably taller. Boss Fight Studio Blank, roughly about the same size. Marvel Universe Captain America. And Master Chief. <laughs> so anyway, uh, this has been AV. This has been my review of the Dollar General Cobra Trooper from years ago. <laughs> um, he is a great figure to add to your collection and even to army build if you can find him for a decent price. I do recommend that you pick him up. Um, if you like this video, check out my channel where I have a whole bunch of other 118th scale themed um, content, vehicles, figures, accessories, you name it, all reviewed here. Um, if you like what you see there, then please subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.